So here's the next and the final one that we're going to take a look at, D function. This is called D count. So this one will allow us to count a specific set of records based on a condition. Now there are many different types of count functions. You got just plain old count, you got count blanks, you got count A, you got count if. This is the D count function. Take a look. And if you watch the previous two lectures on D sum and D average, you're gonna feel right at home on this one because it is exactly the same. Once again, the only difference is we're not summing, we're not averaging, we're now counting. All right, so I'm gonna jump into my I10 cell here and I've just created some placeholders for me to use here. Got a category for supplies and I now wanna get a total count for how many records are related to supplies for category. All right, I'm inside of I10, back to formulas, insert function, and I'll find the D count function. We'll go. All right, counts the cells containing numbers in the field column of records in the database that match the conditions you specify. So this is gonna count numbers. I'll hit okay. All right, just like before, database, first step, A1 down to F59. Remember, control shift down arrow, control shift right arrow, select your data. My field, well, what is it that I wanna count? Remember, what is the D count function count? Can I count the division or categories? Nope. The D count function counts numbers. So I'm gonna tell it to once again, count the total expenses, because that's a numeric column. My criteria, well once again, I don't wanna count all the total expenses, I only wanna count where the category is supplies. So I'll use my header and my criteria section right here. I'm gonna go ahead and hit okay. And I've got four. Four of these records match supplies. And I, I think they might be all the same. Let's try changing this to uh, advertising. Make sure I spell that right. Four once again, let's try another one. Let's try rent. Four once again, I think they all have four in there. But we're now able to dynamically count a group of records based on a condition. So we got three of them there. D sum, D average, D count. Jump into your formulas and insert function and see if you can find any other D functions, because I bet you you will. But try this one out first. Jump into the exercise file, go to list functions, and count the number of records that contain some category, whether it's supplies or rent or software or overhead, whatever it is. Your magic number when it gets back to you should be four. Try it out.